Initiation sequence initiated. Time until human extinction in seconds. When will the suffering end? Oh. This world was once a land rich with love and harmony. Do you really believe that? Seven. Go to hell! You know, six. I'd rather not go back. Five. This is far too much fun. Four. Princess of heritage, royal blood, I presume. Just about as royal as they get. Interesting. Look, if you don't mind, it's been a long night. Oh, right, you're yeah, my yeah, manners. Uh, not, not, not our problem, sir. Uh, let me get the gate. Idiot. Oh, how much did I drink last night? It feels like my brain's trying to escape through me eye sockets. I wonder what the king wants with me. I'll just take one. Wouldn't want to be greedy. in here. Someone's nicked my uniform. Someone's locked me in. It doesn't make any sense. I lost that key years ago. How the hell am I going to get out of here now? I can't just climb down the side of the spire. I mean, maybe if I had a rope or something.
I think I'd be better off if I tied it to something first. That'll do nicely. Just don't tell Elf and Safety. of all places. Filthy street urchin lurking about in the castle. <laughs> Pond dirt. Dong squirt. <laughs> Never heard of him. Dusty, please escort Mr. Longskirt out of the castle. He's making the place stink of booze. <laughs> Say this, shorty. I can smell the air on you from here. Sorry, tiny man. Making any sense? Go on then. What was it? Hornets? Nettles? Working girl? Don't answer that. Save me the spit shower. You know, a pinch of juicer roots or sort that might even have some down at the market. Look, do you need me to write it down for you? I can see spoken word is not exactly your forte right now. Give me something to write on, and I'll draw you a picture. <sighs> That's the ticket. Pass it here. There you go. Show that to the fruit merchant at the market. He'll know exactly what you mean. <sighs> That's close enough. You look like you're at boiling point and I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey, you! <laughs> yeah, you! Come here! Let me take a look at you. Hello, handsome. Remember me? Not before you give out Gertie a kiss. Come here. 
Julia. I'm waiting, lover boy. Please, sir, spare me a penny. Thank you, kind sir. Whoa there, Echo Man. That's far enough. Don't mind him. His bark is worse than his bite. But if you ain't got the coin, you best start walking. You know, we can't sell spice to miners. Thank you. The lad's a bit slow. I think he's got something wrong with his face. Oh right, you think? I thought that was one of them birthmarks. Nah, birthmarks don't leak like that. Right you is. Sorry about that. You got any money, lad? <laughs> Can't understand the word he's saying. Can you, Barry? Just give him a barge and he'll leave us alone. What are the furry ones? What do I look like? A bloody charity? Poor lad could do with a break. Tells you what, lad, because I'm an honest fruit vendor and I pride myself on providing a quality service to all my clients, no matter their financial situation. I'll cut you a break. You can have just one of these fine fruit you see before you, but choose wisely, for while the ripe fruit will bring you good health, the stale fruit will take it from you. You have chosen wisely. There you go.
So after some Medusa root, I see. Gonna cost ya. That stuff ain't cheap. Mm -hmm. Ten gold coins. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with ya. Wow, I feel better already. For a moment there, I thought I'd be stuck like that forever. Maybe folk will start taking me more seriously now. Hmm, maybe. Well, I'll be damned. Tomba! Now, that's more like it. Can't believe I didn't recognize you, Paul. How'd you mess up your face all like that? Ugh, I've had the worst day, Barrack. Need somebody's ear to bend? I'm here all day. Well, after what seemed like a fairly successful birthday shift, I thought it rude but not sample a few of the drunken monks' finer beverages. Why? This led deep into the night until dawn, for when I thought it appropriate to retreat into my dorm at the castle spire. Unfortunately, it became apparent this morning that I was missing a few things, hence my appearance. Oh? Wow. That's a mighty unlucky turn of events, son. You're telling me. On the plus side, though, things can't get much worse. In fact, I've got something that'll make them half inch better. Have a look in the chest. Keys hidden in the usual place. Should be in here somewhere. Bingo. Aha, so that's where it was. Kept it safe for you, Tondi. If you'll excuse me. Tomba, you're looking better. You guys suck. Did I just hear that, right? Don't appreciate that tone of voice, Tomba. But you had me kicked out of the castle, in the blooming Long Johns. No, no. How exactly was we to know that was you? Yeah, you weren't exactly talking proper. Didn't make no sense from what I heard. And yet, normally you're so quick to notice my dwarven roots. A lot of dwarves about. Yeah, you ain't so special. Normally have beards though, wouldn't you say? He's playing silly buggers with you. You looking for an encore? Dusty! No, 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 wait a second. Look, I'm really sorry. I was just frustrated. It's, it's been a rough morning. I've overstepped my mark. <laughs> Look, Bobby, shaking. I'm really sorry, guys. I just, I just wanted to see the king. What you want Dusty for? I'm not sure. Do we have a problem here, Tom Burt? Certainly not. No, 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 not up. No, just were just on my way. It was lovely talking to you fellas. All right, Dusty. That'll be all. Dusty tired. King will be very happy to see you, Tom Ha ha ha. Yeah, give him this when you see him. What is it? Nothing fancy, is it? No, no, no. Nothing. Nothing interesting. <laughs> just, uh... Just some pantry requisition or something. <laughs> Go on, on your way. Psst, Knuckles, did he take it? Delivering the message as we speak. <laughs> Man, you guys are too hard on him. <laughs> Rather him than me. I'll drink to that. What do you think the king will do? Beats me. It ain't gonna be pretty. Only time will tell. Ah, 
Ah, Tonbert, where have you been, lad? My apologies, sir. You seem I've had the worst. Yes, yes. You see, I've looked everywhere. Would you happen to know where my daughter is? No, my lord. Not seen Miss Fairman since the tournament. Crafty little whippersnapper. <laughs> oh, what's that you've got there, lad? Here you go, my lord. Believe it's a pantry requisition. Right. At the hour of sunrise this morn. Ready. Okay. Fool's gold. Act four. And... Tybalt! Start the bleeding camera! Action! There once was a man with the will of a warrior. He guarded the kingdom whilst most laid their head. To carry his duties through ice, wind and rain. To know that his efforts are never in vain. I guess that's my singing practice done for today. Oh boy, I can't wait to eat supper. I'm a poor orphan and I haven't eaten in four days. Oh no, who is this strange man approaching me? I'm here to take all your gold. But I'm but a poor orphan peasant and I don't have any money. Then I will take your loot. No, anything but my music. What is that? Oh, the crystal's gone again. I told you not to buy the cheap ones. Oh my. Bloody idiot. The king will have our heads for this. Definitely something bad going on over there. Do you guys not hear that? Surprise! Ha <laughs> ha, the look on your face. Priceless. Anyway, you're coming with me. Princess Faramin is missing. Oh God, uh, sir, you. <coughs> um, never fear, sir. Tomba Willer, he will save her. You can be sure of that. I'll go to the end of the world for Faramin. I mean, hopefully I won't have to. I'm sure she's not gone that far, right? Okay, yeah. Um, I'm gonna leave now. I'm telling you, mate. This ain't no taxi. Silence! I demand you take me beyond the scar! Nope, not gonna happen, mate. You can stand there all day for what I care. Ain't nothing stopping me from doing my job. Tundra expels it! Why'd you do that? <laughs> What's the matter, Tom Burt? King not like the news? I can't believe you guys. Hey, somebody had to tell him. Yeah, and you were so insistent on us letting you in. Just made sense, you know. Oh, please tell me someone is out there looking for her. Oh, don't worry, you little lad. Yeah, we got the Knights of Rinkelwood to handle that one. Four of Rinkelwood's most decorated heroes rode out of those gates this morning. But they're old and, well, quite rotund. Hey, it's not my place to comment on the physical stature of those lads. Yeah, King Pays and boys are pretty paddy for their troubles. Yeah, I'm sure they'll have her back in no time at all. <laughs> Meanwhile, I suggest you find someone else to bother. Yeah, Scram Kid, we've seen enough of you. Poor Ferramin. The Knights of Wrinklewood are no match for what lives beyond those gates. They're veterans, not heroes. There must be something I can do. I'm not ready to just sit by and wait for the funeral. Not again. Damn it, Tomber! Think! Ugh, that's not important now! That's it. The note said that the princess vanished this morning. While filming the final act of her new flicky, Fool's Gold, the scene took place on Lover's Walk, cast against the morning sunrise. I bet there I'll find a clue to solving this whole mess. This is my one chance to prove myself. I can't cock this up. Ha <laughs> I bet you will. 
Sorry, Tom, but can't let you past. I happen to be looking after an important crime scene, one which you're not allowed in. Hey, have you got a minute? Doesn't look like I'm going anywhere fast. Tell me everything you know about the kidnapping. Uh, why? I need to know every last detail. It's really important. Well, I wasn't there or anything. All I know is what Hendrik told me. Tell me what he told you. Just there was this big flash in the sky. Then the cinegraph thing broke. Before they knew it, there's this big old bang and everyone started freaking out. It wasn't until they stopped screaming that they realised Faramin was missing. So it was definitely some kind of witchcraft? Seems so. If you want to know more, you should go talk to Hendrik. He was there when all this happened. Thanks. Catch you later. Aye. Hey, Hendrik, what's up with you? Ah, don't take me away! Easy fella, it's me, Tom Burr. Oh God, Tom Burr, the things I've seen. I've seen the darkness, the, the end. Oh, come on, we've all been there. One too many drinks, everything is spinning. You're there, crying on the bathroom floor, waiting to die. It's not like that. This was clear as day. The whole kingdom was on fire. We saw the castle! Burn to the growl! That's silly, the castle's made of stone. What about Theremin? Did you see who took her? When I came to, she was gone! Nothing left but a busted up loop! The other guys didn't see nothing neither! So no one saw anything? The princess just disappeared, just like that? Gone! Without a trace! If you ask me, I'd say it was an inside job! Someone drugged the morning grove, for sure! I ain't ever had a dream that looks so real, you know? Well, if that was the case, how come the cinemagraphers didn't see anything? Exactly! That's why we locked them up! Smart, eh? You've got to watch your back. Never know who they might take next! Right, so what you're saying is you have absolutely no idea where Ferriman is, and you're just going to sit here hiding? I'm... Uh, I'm on Overwatch! Sure, looks like it. Look! That's all I've got, mate. I'll let you know I've had a very stressful morning. Not half as bad as Ferriman's, I'll bet. Well, you've been incredibly unhelpful. Thanks. Wait! Tomber! Yes? The boys did spot some dodgy bloke stumbling into the mug. He's pissed as a new. No way he could have pulled it off. Funny, though. I've, I've never seen him around these parts till today. It's a bit suspicious if you ask me. Well, that's something, I guess. I'll see if I can get some sense out of it. Cheers! Don't let your guard down, Tonti. You never know who they'll take next. Barky, if you wouldn't mind. Right you are, Ton Bert. One for this poor fellow, too. Chin up, mate. The guard will have the princess back before you know it. Fire. Huh? Flames. Sorry, I don't smoke. Eternal hellfire. Right. Barky, you know this man. Never seen him before in my life, sir. Crimson cast upon the skies. The fog that burns the eyes. Seems he's talking in tongues. How many has he had? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. The man was blind drunk when he got here. The cogs are in motion. Uh... Pretty cog. Whirring. Grinding. Click, click, click. Sir, you, uh... The dawn of sin. One's here and gone again. Hmm. So... What's the deal with all this talk about cogs? A virgin bleeds for the wealth of the majesty. When one is lost, a thousand follow. When one is lost? You mean... A thousand follow. A foul... what? And another, and another. You've really got to stop drinking. Don't see much of your type round here. What brings you to our neck of the woods? The path has been chosen. Time will be his mistress. Oh, so you're on one of them quests? Get a lot of adventurers around here. Don't look much like you, though. My quest is over. Through the eyes of the beholder, 
The world turns swish. <gasps> Cheer up, mate. Positive thinking's a powerful thing, even when life knocks you down. You can always count on someone else being more miserable than you. Somewhere else. Exhibit A. Yours truly. I just lost the love of my life. We have made our bed, and now must lie. Waiting. We can't run from fate. I made my choice. In sobriety, I chose my fate. <laughs> Under influence, I will drown in it. Right. This calls for drastic measures. Hey, Barkeep, you got any of that pokey black stuff? You know, the one that sobers you up, good and proper. Right before sending you ass first into a week-long hangover? That's the one. Right you are. Fast as you can, please. There are lives at stake. When one is lost, a thousand follow. A thousand follow? What's that mean, then? And then another. Another still. Damn it. This conversation's normally the other way round. We really need to sober you up. For he who tastes the blood of the dynasty will forever hold his own. Barkeep, what's the hold up? Coffee. Black. Down the hatch, mate. Blech. Talk to me. Fine. Just no more of that rancid black piss. I'll tell you what you need to know, but you won't like it one bit. What do you mean? A thousand follow? I tried to stop him. I... I could have stopped him. God, it's all my fault. Stopped who? He was my student, my apprentice, big ambitions, but no brains. Let me guess, magic act went wrong. This is no magic known to man. Tis the dark arts, known only to those with evil in their heart. Sure sounds like a handful. That boy will be the death of me. So what did your apprentice do, exactly? Do you really want to know how the world ends? Well... I've still got half a pint left. On your head be it then. It all started with a book. An ancient tome my bloodline has kept secret generation through generation. It was until this day that these pages of evil had been kept firmly shut. That is, until I carelessly left the door to my study unlocked. The lad was smart. I'll give him that. He must have already spotted the lockup in one of our monthly student-teacher catch-up meetings. A lavishly decorated wooden chest with intricately detailed gold trim. Securely locked, of course. He was waiting for the perfect opportunity to satisfy his curiosity. And this is where you kept the fancy book? Right. The book was adorned with an occult sigil, one said to influence those weak of mind. I believe this is when his corruption consumed him. Did you see him after this? Didn't fancy going after him? Oh yes, we met on several occasions. The lad was brief, always in a hurry to be somewhere else. I was sure it was him that had taken the book, so I followed him. He skipped between towns, villages and cities like a cartographer, never staying more than one night, but he was always sure to visit the local regency. He must have visited every castle in the Isles, from the deep south all the way to the northmost settlement. And then he found Wrinklewood. That's us! I followed him here last night. Some idiot working the gates let him walk right in. There's no wonder he chose her. Hold up. Something's not right here. Are you saying that your apprentice kidnapped the princess? Keep it down. I just want to sit here in peace and drown my sorrows. I don't need half the kingdom out for my blood. No, Feck! We have to do something. It's no use. He's probably already done it. Done what? A sacrifice of royal blood. A deal with the devil. I have seen the future as I gazed upon the looking glass. It all burns. Hold up! Sacrifice! Nothing can be done. Fate has chosen. I have seen it. Time stops for no man. Look, you might have made up your mind, but some of us don't give up at the first sign of trouble. You've read the book, right? you got to know where he's headed. The road to immortality is long. He is far from here by now. Time to cut the ominous, riddle me diddle apathetic crap. Where exactly is far? Ugh, here. 
Take this. On your grave, be it. What's this? It'll tell you all you need. Now, leave. Let me keep what little dignity I have left. This is some serious stuff. Where'd you get this? I stole it from his pack sack. I was hoping I could make some sense of this whole mess. Alas, there appears to be a page missing. Maybe you'll have better luck. Yep, leave it to me. Now, don't go running off anywhere. No funny business. I have no intention of leaving. Uh, hey, I never caught your name. It's Drareth. Well, Drareth, you can rest easy. Tombert's on the case. The princess will be back by nightfall. You got my word. I wish that were true. The Dark Arts, a beginner's guide to the path of sin. Hmm, I need to find out what these symbols mean. I should probably examine this creepy book whilst I'm at it. Wait a second. This map looks strangely familiar, like I've seen it a hundred times before. Hmm. Now, I might be wrong, but this map looks eerily similar to the view from my bedroom. Only one way to find out. Let's see what's in here. There's a used hanky, half-eaten sandwich, set of mouldy dentures, and a key. I think this is the key to my bedroom. Well, it's worth a go. Yeah, sure, just take it. Be my guest, bloody guards. Looks like Gareth has taken over from Barrack's shift. You should be a detective, Tom Burke. Miles Forder, at your service. <laughs> Hold it right there, Tom Burt. I'm afraid you'll be needing the DLC to access any areas beyond this point. What in God's name is DLC? Sounds like some sort of horrible disease. It's pretty simple, mate. You can't leave the town without it. DLC, or Death Liability Contract, for you wordy types, means the crowd ain't held liable if anything happens to you, which is more than likely, might I add. Heh, I don't care about any of that. So long as Theremin's out there, I'll stop at nothing to get her back. Well, you stopped right here until you get the contract. Go speak to the clerk if you're so determined. Right, then you'll let me out? It's not like I can stop you. That's it. Those squiggles, they're mountains, and that's the lake. I knew I'd seen them somewhere before. It's a map of the wildlands. If I had any idea what this all meant, I could probably save Fairman. Hmm. Hold on a minute. Something just fell out of the book. It's a library card. What are the chances? I need to find out what these symbols mean. Maybe there's a way to get this translated. Hey there! Ah oh, yes, Tonbert, isn't it? That's me. And how can I help you today, Tonbert? So, tell me everything you know about the castle. My pleasure. 
You've come to the right man. I've lived behind these walls since long before any of you folk were born. Simpler times they were. How so? Well, it was all bricks and mortar back in my day. None of these fancy flags and shiny floors. You see, we weren't the first folk to live in Wrinklewood. Quite the opposite. What do you mean? Well, long before your king, there was another, and another there before. The first king of Wrinklewood was nothing more than a bully and a thief. An entitled rich boy from the Southern Kingdoms, who stopped at nothing to get what he desired. A man with absolutely no respect for those who came before him. He ran into town and murdered its occupants, paving the way for his entitled regime. What was once a sacred house of worship became his home. You mean the castle? Exactly. He filled the halls with this cheap tut and paved over the entranceway to the catacombs. You mean to say there are people buried underneath the castle? Doesn't really feel right, does it? Anyway, he didn't last long. He was soon overthrown by one of the Alcaford brothers, Pimbrim. Pimbrim Alcaford was a wicked man. Much like his predecessor, he was interested in little but riches and wealth. Pembrim reigned over Wrinklewood for many years, as I sat by and watched what was once a beautiful, civilized town become nothing more than another cog in the Algafard war machine. That's why there's so many of you guards. After the war, there was nothing left to fight for. The Algafard brothers had conquered the lands and left no stone unturned. Soon, Pembrim grew tired disbanded his post and set course back to the Seven Kingdoms. Of course, someone had to pick up the pieces. That's where Theodore came in. King Theodore, woo! I couldn't have been happier when Theo took the reins. Such a kind fellow. He was exactly what this town needed. That he is. I couldn't imagine a better man for the job. Quite. I could certainly imagine a few worse. Well, I guess that's about it. Any questions? What do you know of the wildlands beyond the gates? Only that which I've seen in my youth. There's the Elder Scar, formed thousands of years ago after the first fight of gods and men. The Deadwoods, a deep, sprawling maze of withered oak filled with unimaginable terrors. Not for the light of heart, I assure you. Beyond that is the greater northern region. I've yet to meet any man who dare venture into those treacherous peaks. Oh. And I hear we now have an outbreak of Wrinkleworm, not far north of the town gates. Uh, Wrinkleworm? Ghastly things. Fully grown, they're the size of a house, with jaws the size of doors. Should we not be a little concerned? Not a lot we can do. Besides, it seems to have nested ready for the winter months. Yikes, well, uh, thanks. I'll be sure to give that one a miss. talk of the southern kingdoms. South of Wrinklewood are many kingdoms, towns, ports and cities. There's the seven cities of Alcaford, the port of Beswick, the sprawling farmland of Dubna, Hardington House and Chisudin, to name a few. Travel even further and you'll come across the southern kingdoms, a place where the rich and wealthy gorge themselves on fancy wine and expensive cheeses. That sounds delightful. You wouldn't like it. They eat fish for breakfast. Uh. Right, of course. If you'd like to know more, you can always consult a tome from the castle library. I might just do that. Thanks. Not a problem, sir. What do you know of the one? Only that which I see there's the outer scar. Not beyond. Oh, uh -huh. curse. Should we not? Not all. Yikes. I'll be sure to. Gareth says I need some DLC thing to leave the kingdom. What's that all about then? Sounds like a load of nonsense to me. Well, you see it on, but with all these disappearances, kidnappings and the like, we've had to reevaluate our policies as a company. If you die out there, we aren't to be held liable. The treasury simply can't afford it. Except, technically, we are, so uh, that's what the death liability contract is about. By signing the contract, 
you hereby waive any and all claims you may have against and release from all liability and agree not to sue the Crown, its owners, employees, affiliates, agents and representatives, and His Majesty the King in the right of Winklewood for any personal injury, death, property damage, psychological trauma, or loss sustained as a result of your refusal to remain within castle grounds. You get into any trouble out there, and we can't help you. Sorry lad, simply haven't got the manpower. I'll be damned if I'm leaving Theremin out there alone. Give me the feathery writing thing. Where do I sign? Oh, uh, right. I could have sworn you'd change your mind. Well, in that case, I'll just need to see some ID. ID? Sure. Need to know you're not signing for someone else. We'd be daft not to check. Drat. So, uh, I guess I'd like to apply for an ID card. Right you are. Did you bring your birth certificate? Uh... How about a utility bill? What's a utility bill? Look, this is serious, lad. I can't go issuing these things to just anyone. I presume you have the processing fee. How much is the processing fee? Fifty coins, my lad. Mind you, what with these new DLC laws, there's quite a waiting list. Waiting list? Sure. Suddenly everyone needs an ID. Honestly, when Princess goes missing and every dick Tom and Harry wants to win her back. Exactly how long are we talking? Well, seeing as I have to take them for processing myself, I'd say about three weeks. No rest for the wicked, that's what I always say. Honestly, this is just getting ridiculous now. Look, I'm sure my uh, ID's just in the other pants. And I'll be happy to write up the DLC when you've found it. I still can't find my ID. Well, I'm afraid I can't write up the uh, death liability contract until you do. Can't you make an exception? Just the once, for me? Sorry lad, wish I could. It'll be you first, then before long the whole town will be asking me to turn a blind eye. Can't be done, I'm afraid. Fiddlesticks. That was very informative, thanks. Jennifer? Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's me. You can call me Gwen. Okay, Gwen. You're free to peruse the books at your leisure. If you have any questions, just ask. You'll find we have quite an impressive collection. Thanks. What's that you've got there? It's this creepy old book. I think it might be holding the secret to saving Theremin. It's just... It's all written in gibberish. Ooh, well, we do happen to have quite a collection of language books. You can find our collection in section E, under Ancient Language and Literature. Thanks. Hearts, a beginner's guide to the path of sin. Book one, demonic verse and how to speak in tongues. Now, to translate that creepy book. So from what I gather, the Shogoroth was buried here in the northern region. Looks like Theremin's kidnappers buying into a blood sacrifice. Except it's not his blood, he'll be spilling. He who offers the royal blood will be forever granted the vitality of gods. This is serious. I need to get to the northern region before he does. There's no time to waste. <laughs> Banish to rise again. It seems that after the battle at the Elder Scar, 
an otherworldly demon was buried deep within the northern region. They killed a god. Hold on a second. This whole page, it's a summoning ritual. A sacrifice of royal virgin blood for an eternity of immortality. I can't let him go through with this. I need to find this guy, fast. A royal sacrifice upon the crypt of the wicked. So this is where he's taking Ferriman. It says here the crypt is buried deep within a skullcap mountain. A demonic sigil that marks the burial site. A sign of the occult. This is some pretty serious stuff. Where the king of sinners was laid to rest. Looks like this is his final resting place. Why anyone would want to go messing around with this guy is beyond me. Buried deep within the Skullcap Mountain. This must be where he's headed. Let's hope he hasn't got that far. To travel far beyond the winding rivers. They must mean the Serpent's Kiss. Whoever they are. Where gods and men scorch the earth. They say the Elder Scar was once the site of a great battle. One where brave men fought amongst the gods. I bet that's what they mean. Don't touch anything. I am conducting an investigation of the utmost importance. Any tampering or tomfoolery will be seen as perverting the course of justice. Calm down, I just wanted to talk. I am far too busy for small talk. Rude. Hey, there's someone that wants to see you. It's really important. Oh yeah? And who would that be? Barrington himself. Where did you see them exactly? In the throne room. Right. And why me exactly? Because you're the only person in the kingdom smart enough. So you're telling me? Barrington himself wants to see me. In the throne room because... I'm the only person in the kingdom smart enough. Uh, yep, yeah, that's it. Well, I best get going then. Wouldn't want to leave the king waiting. Just keep keep an eye on the place whilst I'm gone. My pleasure. This could come in handy. Nice! It's blocked the door good and proper. Let's see what we've got here. Looks like I can load the blank film here. Looks like that did the trick. Sounds like something's working. Ooh. Brief. Hopefully it snapped a good photo. Hmm. Well, it did something. The film's changed colour, but the frames are all blank. Maybe there's more to this than I initially thought. I'll just test it on one photo for now. Oh, I think it's working. Well, it sort of worked. The photo's really cloudy. Still wet, too. Let's see. It worked! The photo's cleared up considerably now. I think I just need to wash off this sticky stuff now. I'll just give it a quick rinse. It's perfect! Looks just like me too. It's amazing what you can do these days. This should do the trick. I'll just stick this to the library card the old-fashioned way. Nice! My very own, somewhat sticky, ID card. Hopefully it's enough to trick the clerk. Time to test his peepers.
looks like this leads around to the main entrance. Time to make a speedy getaway. Hand it over, lad. Hmm. Yes. Uh, very interesting. Wait a minute. This is... Uh, it's a wonderful picture, Tom Bird. Really captures your eyes. Well, everything checks out. Just sign here and here. Is that all? Yep. Thanks for your cooperation. You are now free to roam the wildlands at your leisure. Well, I guess I'd uh, better get going then. Princess to save and all. That you should, lad. I'm sure the knights will take any help they can get. It's time to save the princess. Oh, shut up, Tom Burt. One signed death liability contract. Yep, all seems in order. Well, on your grave beer, just try to come back in one piece. Hey, Tom Burt. I'll be back in no time, just you wait. So has the poor guy tasked with delivering it, it seems. princess around these parts. She's about this high, hair like golden silk. Oh, she's got the prettiest eyes you've ever seen. Stop blabbering, you're scaring the fish. You're from the castle, ain't ya? Tom Burr of Wrinklewood, nice to meet you. Elga, and I wish I could say the same. You say you're looking for a princess? Sure am. Have you seen her? Nah. Oh, well, have you seen anything suspicious? Saw a cart frozen solid. Hmm, might be a clue. I keep an eye out. Also saw one of your knights not long past. Ain't seen him come back. Into the... Woods. Aye. Thanks, Helga. I'll keep looking. If you see anything out of the ordinary, you let me know, okay? Oh, sure. I just shout, shall I? Well, you wouldn't want to scare the fish. I'll pop back if I get stuck. Just keep an eye out. You're a weird one, Tom Burt of Wrinklewood. is called the Deadwoods for a reason. Until I know for sure that Theremin isn't out here, I'm not going in. Welcome to my humble abode. I'm terribly sorry for all of the mess. We're going through a bit of a renovation at the moment. This is Lauren. Hi. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. I love what you've done with the place. Oh, it's not finished yet. I've run out of paint, you see. Seems my can has sprung a leak. 
That's uh, unfortunate. Just waiting for a delivery. Care to join us in a song? Oh, uh, no, I'm okay. I'm on a mission of the utmost importance. You've not come bearing gifts, have you? The red painty kind? I'm afraid not. In fact, I think I might have some unfortunate news for you. What's the matter? Well, it's just, there's a car just outside the woods. Except it's not going anywhere fast. Why's that? Broken wheel? Not quite. Something far worse, I'm afraid. The cart's frozen. Like, frozen solid. Frozen? How peculiar. I think I know who did it, too. Well, that's no good. What'll we do now? I'll think of something. Godspeed, Harry Huffman. Look, I'm gonna need to borrow your ladder. You promise you'll bring it back? Of course. The ladder's safe with me. Right, well, just give it a twist as you lift it. Should fold up nice and tidy. This should help. Edwear. You mean a helmet? That's the one. Don't look at me like that. We was robbed. Robbed? Yeah, not but an hour ago. Seems that whilst I was eating my lunch, some layabouts come along and nicked all our helmets. Well, that's no good. Of course, you can ride without one if you want. I, uh... Screw it. Ferriman needs my help. If I can get to the burial site before he does, I can set a trap. Here, take this. Seven gold coins. Okay, then. Well, uh... Mind your head on the landing. Ready! Hey! Oh, he's back. The one who broke my cap out. Hey, I'm lucky to be alive. Do you have any idea what lurks down there? Not to mention the climb. Jeez. Besides, that thing was sabotaged. Sabotaged? Yeah. By the same guy who nicked your helmets, no doubt. The nerve. Look, what'll it cost to get this thing fixed? Oh, I wouldn't know about that. That's the boss's department. Boss? You, you have a boss? Of course. Why? You think I set up this tiny little business myself? I'm just here for the weekends, saving up to pay off my debt to the crown. Right. Well, we need to get this thing fixed. If I'm right, the princess is to be sacrificed at sundown tonight. Ain't got long now. Personally, I can't wait. Missus will have supper on the table, no doubt. Curry night tonight. Can't beat a good curry. Ugh, look. I'm gonna find a way to fix this catapult. If anyone comes by, just, uh, shout, alright? Got ya. Typical. save you. You have absolutely nothing to fear. Hold on tight. I got this. I don't got this. You all right? Out of there. Here, take this. Ah. 
That's it. Now climb up to that ledge. Here, take my hand. Feels heavy. Forsaken nightmare is this? There's nothing left, nothing but pain and sorrow. These wounds will never heal for all that is lost. Is this what the world is to be? Scorched earth. What has become of this world? These lands are sick. The skies weep. still dreaming. No, this is... Oh, the floor is all sticky. I need to get out of here. Fast.
You've got to get me down from here. Don't worry. I've got this. Please do something. This should do it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved my life. Hey, don't mention it. Just doing my duty. You know, as a guard. My, uh... Gar yes, yes, I follow. I don't suppose you've seen Ferriman? No luck, I'm afraid. I fear I'm not cut out for all this. Seems I oh, twisted my ankle pretty bad in the fall. These old bones just aren't what they used to be. That's all right. I'm on the case. Charles was headed north beyond the scar. Maybe he'll fare better than us, eh? Yeah, let's hope so. Well, I think it's time I leave this wretched place. Truly, I thank you. Just go careful on your way out. Godspeed, sir. Should probably grab that ladder, too. Time to get out of this place. Back. Oh, thanks, mate. Much appreciated. Hope you got good use out of it. Sure did. Saved a night. Blimey, you've been busy. All in a day's work. Cheers, though. No trouble. This stew smells great. Mind if I pinch a cup? Help yourself. Careful, it's my hee ha. <laughs> Thanks. something. This should do the trick. Awesome! The ice has melted. There were tools and cogs in that bag. Looks like this is Lauren's paint too. Hey! You can't just take that! It's fine. I'll return the tools and deliver the paint. What about me? Hey! You just going to leave me whilst you go off gallivanting after some pretty blonde? Look, the ice is already starting to melt. You'll be out of there in no time. No! Please! You can't leave me! 
Don't worry, I'll send for help. No, you won't. I believe this is yours. Well, fancy that. Wonderful. I cannot thank you enough, young man. However will I repay you? Honestly, I was just happy to help. Well, if ever you're in need, you know there's a roof to sleep under here. Thanks. Where'd you find it? Frozen in the cart, just outside the woods. What about the delivery guy? Is he alright? Yeah, he'll be fine. Just needs a little while to fall. Right. Well, I'll have this finished up in no time. Thanks again, mate. See ya! She really did a great job with the place. A very talented young girl she is. I'll say. Well, I should be going. It's been a pleasure. Right back at ya. Best of luck in your search. Any leads on that princess of yours? I have a good idea of where she's gone. There's uh, only one place left to look. I'm headed north. Blimey! Rather you than me. Here's hoping you don't get frostbite. <laughs> I think I'll be alright. These boots are pretty cosy. Anyway, I'll see you around. Good luck, Tomber of Wrinklewood. Thanks. Mind if I take this? Not at all. Help yourself. Do the trick. Hey, I fixed your catapult. You want to test it out? Make sure it's safe. Well, here goes nothing. This paint can will make a fine helmet. Ready? Blimey, that was close. Hey, where did all my stuff go? Sorry, buddy, but these are desperate times. Please don't, you know, haunt me or anything. There really is nothing left of him now. The compass will come in handy, though. I should probably look after it for safekeeping. Wow, what a view! So, uh, which way? It all looks the same.
According to my compass, the, the mountains should be right ahead. No use. It's stuck. Let's see. Ooh, a fancy dagger. Looks like it'll be worth a pretty penny. There's also some cereal oats. Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. be starving. You hungry? <laughs> I think he likes me. You feeling strong, little guy? Pow! Nice work. Let's move him somewhere warmer. This could take a while. Fella? Sheesh, sure is hot in here. Theremin! She can't hear me from here. Theremin! She can't hear me from here. Keep it together, Tom Burt. Ferriman! Oh God! Please be breathing! Please be breathing! It's me! It's Tom Burt! I'm here to save you! I need to find a way to cut these bindings! Fast! Come on! Come on! So blunt! What is this? A bar knife? Come on! Well, don't mind me. <laughs> the irony. You're the fool that let me into the gates, aren't you? All oh, the king's horses and all the king's men were busy, I presume. Hey, back off! Oh dear, you're going for it, aren't you? Throw over your shoulder, push me aside, and walk right out of here like a hero. 
Don't come any closer. Fool. Why am I sick of you two good types? You're all the same. You take one look at me, you think. Oh, pasty guy with eyeliner. Wears a cloak black as death. Clearly up to no good. I'll have you know I have big plans for my eternal reign of immortality. Just you wait, the lands will be much better off for it. Speaking of which, how exactly did you get here? I can't have taken the normal route. I mean, sure of that. Wait, 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 wait. It's that. Oh my god. Do you have any idea how long I've been looking for this? And to think you brought it right to me. First class effort, I must say. Well, that makes things a lot easier. Time to get started, I guess. I still can't believe you brought me the sacrificial dagger. Just about the only thing you could have done to make this situation worse. Look, it's even got the sizzle rear right on the hill. It's just like the book. The king will never forgive you, you know that. You'll have to go into hiding, run away as far as those little legs can take you. Well, this must be really frustrating for you, eh? To think you got this far. A good effort, I must say. Well, time to test out the dagger you so kindly donated. <laughs> this must be really hard for you to watch. I won't tell anyone if you close your eyes. See, right, sir, demos, das, come to me. <laughs> oh god, it feels good to be back. <laughs> Thank you.
Come in. Starborn, report. General, I've secured entry into the facility. Well done, Agent. Citrap, please. I fear we may have a problem. There's some sort of sentry here. A tracked robot. The technology seems crude, to say the least. As we expected. Our informant has assured us they will not fire on sight. Well, that's a relief. There should be a large statue, one composed mostly of stone. Do you have visual? Sure, I see it. it seems to be hooked up to some sort of power source. Exactly as we predicted. That's the processing AI. Starborn, you're going to need to pose as one of the condemned citizens. One of those poor souls due for processing. The bio is already on the system. All you have to do is declare yourself. You're saying I can just walk right up to that thing? We have it under good authority that you can, Agent. Our informant is waiting for you on the upper level. Do you need me to rebrief you? I'll patch you through to Rugrat for the details on that bio. Good luck, Agent. Hey boss, how's it look? Creepy, to say the least. The General said you have the details on the bio. Right. So you're posing as one of the citizens called for processing. Poor souls get rounded up and strapped into a think tank. Their life force is literally drained straight out of them. This is why we've got to stop this guy. Exactly. You need to listen closely. Each citizen is identified by a series of numbers and characters. Our informant has pre-assigned an ID for processing. Get it wrong and this whole operation is compromised. No pressure then. Right, give me the ID. You're posing as citizen 0138 uh What? Well, it's just the last number is faded. Faded? Are you kidding me? It looks like it could be an... 8? Or maybe a 9. It's kind of hard to make out. You're not exactly filling me with confidence, kid. Oh, it'll be fine. Just go with your gut. The odds are in your favor, after all. It's a 1 in 10 chance. Look, we'll get this coffee mopped up and we'll give you a call once the paper's dried. Oh, these things always work out. Don't sweat. Coffee. Did I say coffee? I meant, uh... Okay, I spilled coffee on the intel. Just do your thing, boss. You got this. Zero, one, three, eight, and uh, something that might be a nine or an eight. Great. Remember, boss, keep a clear head. The system's limited, but ruthless. I'll keep that in mind. Starborn, out. <laughs> Approach the AI, state my citizen ID, and make my way to the upper levels. Here goes nothing. Welcome to Psychosoft Industries. How may I help you today? Do you wish to apply for our enrollment program? I'm here for my, uh, processing. Affirmative. Please recite your citizen ID. Process termination. <laughs> citizen zero. Eight. One. Three. Nine. Processing. Identification invalid. Initiating lockdown. Crap. Please open for cross authorized. HQ, come in. Starborn, what's that noise? It's, uh, some sort of alarm, ma'am. What? The ID didn't work? Well... Not exactly. Are you safe? I'm hiding behind the desk. The sentry's optics seem limited at best. Right. We're going to need to get you clear of that sentry. Hold on, I'll patch you through to Rugrat. Well, that could have gone better. Any bright ideas? There's a cable behind the panel on your comms unit. If you find a port, link up the comms device and I can jack into the system. I'll disable the alert from the inside. AI should revert back to its regular subroutines then. You can do that. Sure, that's what I'm here for. Just wait till we get to the top. Right, so I'm looking for some sort of input jack. Yeah, diagnostics port, power outlet. Anything with the power source will do. Got it. I'll take a look around. Careful, boss. That sentry is now authorized to shoot on sight. Yeah, I thought as much. I'll keep my head low. Starborn, out. 
Let's see. There's some sort of panel affixed to the wall. I might be able to pry it open. That should do it. I've rerouted the power, giving access to the diagnostics port. HQ, do you read me? Received. Let me patch you through. Nice one, boss. Let's check the feed. Should be able to find an empty packet somewhere. Got it. Just uploading the script. And flashing ROM. Will this take long? And I'm in. Right. Resetting security protocol? Did that do it? Lockdown. Aborted. That did it. The alarm's been disabled. Great. Now let's take a look at that sentry bot. Damn it! The security is autonomous. It's not linked into the system. Looks like you're on your own from here. Call me if you need any advice. I'll patch you back through to the general. You're a lifesaver, kid. Just doing my job. Sounds like Rugrat was successful. She did good, Mom. Affirmative. Well, now that's over, let's look to the task at hand. Find a way into that elevator and get to the upper levels. Our informant will be ready to meet you. Right, but first I need to deal with this sentry. Slow and steady, Agent. Roger that. Starborn, out. The sentry's got me pinned. I need to wait for the opportune moment. Maybe I can cause a distraction. Let's see if this works. Gotcha. Doors are sealed shut. I don't see any kind of call button either. Hmm. Assistance. Wait, no, don't do that. Denied. Have a nice day. Oh crap. Huh? That could have gone better. Command. Starborn, you all right? We lost you for a moment there. I appear to be incapacitated. It's some sort of photon cell. The heat coming off these things is unbearable. Damn it, Starborn. You're lucky to be alive. You know me, Mom. I've never been one for subtlety. Any bright ideas? We've got to get you out of there fast. Hold on a second. I'm patching in Rugrat. Hey, cowboy. Rugrat, I need your help. I screwed up. They're holding me in a bi-series photon cell. I can't see the relay. It's out of a... Hey, hold up. Did you just see what I think you did? Sure, a photon cell. Two doors, two walls. No, not that bad. Ugh. All right, all right. I screwed up. You got me. <laughs> yup, lap it up. <laughs> so, photon cell. High intensity beam. Real hot. Burns like an I-59. Sure. You're... you're in a bit of a pickle. I mean, those things will cut through you like nothing. You got a mirror? A uh, mirror? Handsome guy like you. Takes a lot of work to look that good. Come on, give me something useful. Sorry, boss. I'm all out of ideas. But try looking around. Maybe they missed something. Starborn, you need to act fast. Find a way out of there and get that artifact. We're here if you need us. Hey, uh, 
Uh, you. Yeah, come over a sec. What is your comment on the classroom recording for training purposes? Right, um, the thing is... You know what? Never mind. Starborn, what is it? Be through to Rugrat. Patching you in now. Hey, boss. What can I help you with? Any idea how to deal with this droid? What have we got? Bipedal, humanoid design, a heavy build, some kind of heat element in his chest, given by the glow coming from there. Sounds like a 7th gen security drone. What's the plating like? Can't tell. Whole guy looks like he's been dipped in chrome. Hmm. Try and get a look at his neck. Neck? Sure. Should be a series of diagnostic ports. It'll help me pinpoint which model we're looking at. Right. Never mind. Never mind. Keep it together, Agent. Roger that. Starborn, out. Hey, uh, you. Yeah, come over here a sec. What is your comment? On the classroom recording for training purposes. Right, um, the thing is. Look out, behind you. Gotcha. This your negative. You know what? Never mind. Starborn, what is it? Me through to Rugrat. Patching you in now. Hey, boss. What can I help you with? I took a look at that droid. Seems there's uh, three ports arranged in a triangular pattern around a circular port in the center. The central port has four pins arranged in a square two by two grid. I knew it. Good news. You're in luck, boss. Those things are super easy to trick. Huh? That model in particular lasted about two months before it got recalled. They made a big oversight in the AI protocol. It's real easy to overload the bus. Look, you need to propose a situation to the AI in which there is no logical answer. Really make it think. They have no failsafe on the runtime processor. Once it starts looking for an answer, it'll keep going until the CPU fries. I'll give it a go. Any ideas? I'll leave that to you. Morality is always a good topic. Just. Stay away from anything to do with mathematics. Asking a question with no answer, right? Never mind. Never mind. Keep it together, Agent. Roger that. Starborn, out. Hey, uh, you. Yeah. Right. I have a question. What is your request? It will be noted. What's the opposite of opposite? Computer. What does silence sound like? Computer. Why does a round pizza come in a square box? Computer. What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? Computer. Wait, before you answer that, tell me this. What is your answer? Computer. I'm sorry, what did you say? No, erase, error, miss, calculation, error, service one time, turning now, sixty two, one, 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 one,
door is sealed shut. There's a hand scanner in the center. I know this floor is clear. Sounds like that did something at least. I think I can leave the arm here for now. The release mechanism is open now. I'll take this. The lock is released now. I'll just put this old cell down here. I'll just put the charge cell in here. nothing. You're late. Uh, I almost died in that thing. What's with this goo, anyway? That's a precise mixture of pyridoxine hydrochloride, zinc oxide, yellow 8, mine mononitrate, and BHA. Is it toxic? No idea. Tell me how you feel an hour from now. Come, you'll be awake soon. We need to get that crystal back to your friends in the orbital station. Wait, hold on a second. Jeez, is that him? He's hideous. No wonder he's so angry. 
Are you even listening? Stop gobbling and come over here. Wait, I have an incoming call. Two sex. Starborn reporting. Agent, we lost you there for a moment. I was a little preoccupied, to say the least. Something's wrong. There's a surge on the grid. According to this, every relay pylon in the East Quadrant has been redirected to your location. What did you do? I, uh, nothing. I mean, I got stuck in a freaking human fish tank. The thing started filling with this foul liquid. I was lucky to get out alive, I almost drowned. That wouldn't have caused the surge. Something in that building is pulling an unprecedented amount of juice. Rugrat's trying to find a back door into the grid. We might be able to shut it down from the inside. Just hang tight. Don't touch anything. What was that all about? Whoa, is that what I think it is? Don't touch it. Please, just keep your hands to yourself. It's mesmerizing. Yes, it's my greatest work. Not that there is anyone left to appreciate it. I've watched this monster tear the world apart. The things I've seen. We're gonna make it right. We can fix those things. You know that better than any of us. Even if it works, if you somehow manage to travel back decades before any of this, how exactly do you plan on getting back? I, uh, I guess I haven't thought that far ahead. Come, we don't have long. Walk over to that console there, uh, the one in the corner. The one, uh, over, over there by the bad guy? He's quite harmless, I can assure you. I put a little extra sedative in his induction fluid this morning, but that does not mean we have time to waste. Go on, over there. Right. Now, on my mark, hit the beige button. Three, two, one. Did it work? Hold on a minute. There's something wrong. Oh, no, no, no. This isn't good. The crystal won't release. There's an unprecedented amount of power drain. No, this isn't good at all. Could that be what the general was talking about? If there's something you're not telling me, now would be the right time to spill the beans. Hold on. She said something about redirecting the grid. Let me call it in. We really don't have much time. General, how's it looking? Agent, there's some sort of security layer blocking our entry into the system. We can't get in to stop the surge. More importantly, we can't get you out. What do you mean? Let me patch you through to Rugrat. Maybe you two can figure something out. This wasn't in the pre-op, ma'am. Have faith, Agent. We'll figure something out. Boss, we got a problem. There's no way in. As soon as you reached the top level, our scan went dark. The crystal's causing too much interference, and it's screwing with our teleporter. You mean our evac plan? I can't get a lock on your position. I'm surprised the comms are still standing. Damn it. So what do we do now? You're not gonna leave me here to rot, are you? We'll get you out. Just hold tight. Are you with the informant? He's right here. The release on the crystal is knocked out. It won't budge. That's no surprise. If you removed it now, it could be catastrophic. With this much power, it's a wonder how the crystal's holding. Really is impressive. Stop drooling and get us out of here, kid. Okay, okay. I have an idea. We need to redirect the power. Divert it away from the crystal. Is that even possible? How do you think the big guy gets his juice? Well, that like, uh, supercharging. Sure. I mean, I'm all out of ideas here. It should buy us enough time to get a lock on your position. The interference will fade and we can just be... What the? Rugrat, do you hear me? HQ! Damn it. Are you done with the chit-chat? We've got a bit of a problem here. Right. They said we should divert the power away from the crystal and, uh into the big guy. Let me guess, that was your technician's idea. She's got spirit, I'll give her that. Hmm, you know, it could just work. If we divert the power, the safety lock on the crystal will release. Without the crystal, the building's security systems will fall. Meaning we can get the hell out of here. Right, your friend should be able to get a lock on their teleporter. Well, what are you waiting for? Oh, now you want to hurry up. 
All right, let's do this. Right, this should do it. I'll need you to press that button again. Once again, on my mark, hit the beige button. Three, two, one. I've got the crystal. I'm hiding in the lift. Do you have a lock on the teleporter? Hold on just a little longer. This isn't like one of those sci-fi sims you play. These things take time. The quantum decompiler is at 60%. It shouldn't be long now. Well, at least I'm safe in this lift. Just wish I'd brought a book. When was the last time you read a book, Agent? <laughs> Alright, you got me. Look, just take your time. Hold on, I hear something. There's a noise coming from behind the... Phoenix, how's he doing? He was lucky, that's for sure. He broke both legs in the fall, shattered his coccyx, and both wrists. Ouch. I know, right? He'll have one hell of a headache when he wakes up. He's going to feel like such an idiot. Anyway, we fixed all the important bits, uh, pumped him full of mini gel to do its thing. How long until he's mission ready? Well, now that the nanocells have started to kick in, rehabilitation should take somewhere uh, 12 to 24 hours. <sighs> Thank the stars. You'll notify me as soon as he wakes. I need him in fighting shape. Right you are, General. Damn it! What now? Oh, my head. What the hell? This is New Haven. They must have gotten me out in time, but how long has it been? The station's a wreck. I need to find the general. I've got no use for it right now. There's a lot of colored capsules in here. Some empty ones, too. I'll just take one of each. Oh, God. What the hell happened here? It's Phoenix. There's blood everywhere. He's... Damn it to hell! 
Control. Status report. Station has suffered significant damage. Hull damage critical. Life support systems failing. This is bad. Control. Unlock bridge elevation access to lower levels. Elevation access is currently off limits. Manual lockdown has been activated under request of the ship's captain. She shut down the entire floor. That makes no sense. Control. I need a sip rep for the past, uh, how long have I been out? Agent Starboy, recovered following the success of Mission Zero on Mother Earth. 64 hours have passed since these events. 64? Please note, it is recommended that cybernetic passengers undergo a full 96-hour rehabilitation process after any major surgery. To hell with that. What happened while I was out? Accessing the vent log. At two three hundred hours on the fifth day of the seventh sun, Agent Starborn was sent on a recovery mission. Tasked with locating and securing an ancient artifact originating from the Age of Stone. It was during this mission that an unprecedented surge on the intercontinental grid was diverted to a large tower in Neo London. Yeah, yeah, I was conscious for that bit. Fast forward. Agent Starborn retrieved the artifact and was successfully transported to the New Haven Medical Bay. A successful mission, New Haven were able to recover Starborn along with the artifact, astonishingly still intact. Little can be said for you, however, who required a full rebuild at the expense of Agent Phoenix sleeping. Tell me what happened. Did they come for the artifact? I am afraid that is as much a mystery to me as it is to you. My last record is a log from Rugrat, noting an interstellar anomaly originating from a neighboring system. Shortly after that, my systems crashed. This is bad. Control. How many crew made it out alive? We're gonna need to recover the pods and regroup. As I said, I have no recollection of the events. However, I can see that all escape pods are present and correct. Preliminary scans suggest that you are the sole remaining member of the Guardians of New Haven. I'm sorry, Agent. To hell with this. They didn't win. We're stronger than them. There must be something. I need to find a way to override the lockdown. Hmm, what's this valve for? It won't turn any further. Nope, won't budge. Hmm, maybe I can use these capsules to blow it open. Perfect, now to turn up the heat. Sure hope this works. General! Hang in there, boss. I'll get you fixed up. I promise. Damn it. Phoenix normally does this stuff. Control, I need some help here. My knowledge of common medical procedure is limited. However, my knowledge of this station is highly extensive. You will find numerous medical supplies in the drawer at the rear of the room. Roger that. To your right, you will see a Meditech station. You can use this to monitor the patient's vital signs. The patient has likely experienced severe oxygen deprivation and will need a resuscitation shot. I suggest you act with haste. There's loads left. I'll just top up on the ones I'm missing.
Thank you for choosing Meditech. Please insert two Medigel capsules into the ports provided. For help, please consult your Meditech training manual. You have inserted red and blue mixing resuscitation stimulus. Please insert an empty Medigel capsule for transfer. I guess the empty capsule goes in here. Blank capsule accepted. Preparing resuscitation stimulus. Penetrating. Discharging substance. Please remove the Medigel capsule from the entry port. Thank you for choosing Medit. Please in for help. You have inserted purple and green. Preparing nanobot diagnostic resuscitation stimulus. Complete. Loading Medigun. Ready for administration. Let's hope this works. General? S Starborn, is that you? You're safe now, boss. Just take it slow. It all went so fast. We locked down the lower levels as soon as we could. I... I... <laughs> Easy there. I'm gonna fix this. Starborn, I'm sorry. They breached us from both sides. There was nothing I could do. <laughs> hey. Take it easy. Did Rugrat make it through? I've seen no sign of Rugrat. But they're all dead, Mom. Ellis, Stevens, Harris, Phoenix. Agent, listen carefully. We got the artifact. Your mission was a success. But the station... I initiated the lockdown as soon as they attacked. Rugrat insisted she was close, so... I tried to buy her as much time as I could, but it was so fast. Mom, it's all right. I'll fix this. There's a chance Rugrat made it in time. As we suspected, that crystal really was capable of opening a rift in time and space. It was just a matter of narrowing down the time and location. You think she made it through? That girl is capable of anything. I've yet to see her fail. Mom, permission to travel through time and space in pursuit of the world's bravest techie. Permission granted, Agent. I won't let you down. Just one thing. The whole station's on lockdown. You're the only one cleared to release it. Roger that. Control, release system lockdown and restore access to lower levels. Affirmative, Captain. Control. I hereby delegate full administrative control to Agent Starborn. Affirmative. Updating security protocol. Starborn, go! Find her. Save the world. Do whatever it takes to fix this. I'll be fine here. Just... Try not to get yourself blown up this time. I'll try my best, Mom. Take care, Agent. This mission isn't over yet. Patient has lost consciousness. Initializing recuperation process. Look after her. The space-time transcender is situated in the lower levels. It's time to put things right. Access lift should be working now. Let's do this.
Whoa. Is it working? Navigation bearing set. 64 clicks on warp degree 9, quadrant 09. In English, please. Apologies. My notes have been stored somewhat carelessly. The appropriate indexing has yet to be completed. Quite unusual. Sounds like someone was in a rush. Additional contextual data located. Space-time schematics retrieved from free external sources. Mineral sourced from origin approximately 972 years prior. I believe the device has been appropriately configured for your intended travel, Agent. Rugrat, you genius! Control, tell me, has the machine been used? Did she get through? Accessing event log. The most recent entry suggests that a user, Rugrat, accessed the terminal just 17 hours prior to your request. I'll be damned. Was it successful? Data suggests organic matter was successfully dematerialized. However, our mere existence would suggest something has haunted mission success. There's still hope. How do I get this thing fired up? Searching. No results found regarding the operation of the zero-point warp device. Screw it. I'll figure it out. So much power, damn it. I sure hope this works. There's a note here. Looks like Rugrat's handwriting. I sure hope this works. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, where the hell am I? and for all. Tell me what you did with the princess. Princess? I know it's you that took her. Wait, hold on. I think we're on the same side here. Are you the one they call the Tombert? Tombert Ruskin? That's me, all right. You've heard I'm coming for you. I see. Look, this is gonna sound crazy. I don't expect you to believe me firsthand, but, well, I'm from the distant future. I've traveled back through the fabric of space-time to save your dear princess from the hand of an unfathomable evil. There is so much at stake yet, so little time to explain. This story does not bode well for your people. I've seen it with my own two eyes. Hold on. If you can travel through time, then what took you so long, eh? I've been through hell and back to get here. What do you do? Just jump through some magic portal, no doubt. Why didn't you go back before he nicked our princess, eh? Listen, kid. I've seen eye to eye with the devil. How dare you question my sacrifice? There was an issue with the teleporter. Our station was attacked and I... Couldn't save them. 
All right, all right, I get it. We've both had a rough ride. All I'm saying is you better not steal credit for this. This is my chance to prove to the king that I'm more than just a guard. I have no interest in fortune, fame, or glory. I just need to stop him before it's too late. Help me get this door open, would you? You know, I have the weirdest feeling. It's like I've been here before. This is gonna sound bonkers, but we need that goat. God damn. The fate of the world rests in those hot, clammy hands. I don't like this one bit. Stay focused. We have little time. Shoulder, push me aside and walk right out of here like a hero. Don't come any closer. Fool. Black as death. Clearly up to no good. I'll have you know I have big plans for my eternal reign of immortality. Just you wait, the lands will be much better off for it. Speaking of which, how exactly did you two get here? Wait, 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 wait. It's that. Oh my god! Do you have any idea how long I've been looking for this? Well, that makes things a lot easier. Time to get started, I guess. I still can't believe you brought me the sacrificial dagger. Just about the only thing you could have done to make this situation worse. Look, it's even got the seal rare right on the hill. It's just like the book. Rugrat, I thought I'd lost you. Where are you? Hey, cowboy. Rug, I can't get close to him. He's too strong. Where exactly are you? <laughs> I won't tell anyone if you close your eyes.
Princess! You had me worried for a moment there. <laughs> that was nothing. Are you okay? I am now your clever girl you got here. This whole setup was her idea. If it wasn't for you finding me, I fear things might have gone far worse. That's what we're here for. Speaking of which, do you feel that, boss? The tingling. I... I think that means we did it. How exactly are we gonna get back? I think we're already leaving. Weller, that was weird. You were telling me. Lucky you showed up, though. I really didn't do much, unless you count her flailing my legs and screaming for mercy. It's not what you did here, it's what you did after. Don't you see? Huh? Agent Rugrat told me everything. You never gave up, even after all this, after losing everything. If it wasn't for those notes and that boundless will to survive... What about my notes? It's your scribbles that saved us all. The Chronicles of Tombert. You built quite a reputation. Your adventures, your decade-long war against the Shogoroth, those stories went down in history, Tombert. They weren't forgotten. Decade long? Because of you, those two were able to find us. This is all a bit mental. Why'd they need to save you so badly? I mean, aside from the obvious, of course. It wasn't me that needed saving. They needed to kill him. That man went on to do terrible, awful things, Tombert. But you were there, every step of the way, fighting for good. The events that led to this point made you Nobody can take that away from you. I think someone's due a promotion. How does Sir Tom Burton sound? You know what? I kind of like it. Come here. And everyone lived happily ever after. The end. Miss, Miss, tell us a bit about the giant worm again. Did Tomba and the princess get married and have babies? All right, class, there will be plenty of time for questions later. First, it's time to take a look at your own work assignment for the week. Aww. You know what? The hero in that tale sure sounds a lot like you. What? Me? <laughs> Wouldn't catch me messing around with the fabric of time and space. Imagine the repercussions. Hell, I can barely manage the kids' breakfast. Intergalactic special agent travels through time to save the world. Got a good ring to it, don't you think? Agent Starborn. <laughs> Estate agent, honey. <laughs>